you coming down here working with the kids and everything? Uh, it has been absolutely just outstanding. Uh, just seeing some of these kids here and just seeing some of the faces that, you know, just as, as soon as you arrive, you saw the excitement in their faces. So I'm glad we can come here today, you know, set the foundation so that, you know, as years to come, we really have an impact on these kids. What's your message to them when you sort of talk to them? Um, I mean, the main thing, I just want these guys to fall in love with three rooms, classroom, weight room, and film room. So essentially those are the, really the, just the, the core things you have to fall in love with. Classroom, obviously, academics, on the field, film room, and most of all, the weight room. You know, so when I say weight room, that means all the hard work you put in, whether it's running or whatnot. Um, it's, it looks like, you know, going through the drills, putting these kids through drills, is something that you've done before. Is it something you did before? Oh, or is there Was there a camp you went to as a yeah, kid? Yeah, I mean, as, as a kid. I mean, that's my main thing. I've always tried to help others, you know. So as a younger younger kid, I know my feet are cold now. We always, uh, always went back to them and helped them out with some of the things. So, I mean, for me, I, I just enjoy watching these kids get better and um, just, just seeing the excitement on their faces. What's the transition to college been like for you over the last month? It has been a blast. Uh, it's been definitely something I've been wanting, but it's something that I need as well. You know, it's the main thing about growing up. So I'm, I'm glad I went somewhere pretty far with my own because I can grow up a little bit faster. But I love it, though. You know, I'm surrounded by a great group of guys. Do you feel like you've matured a lot over just the last couple of weeks? Oh, for sure. You know, I'm at home, you know, my grandma come knocking on my door. You know, <laughs> she's going to wake up and here. You know, if your alarm clock's not up, <laughs> you better get up, you know, if it, if it goes off, you, you can't hit snooze anymore, you know, like you did at home, so I'm glad that the coaches are really, you know, instilling that in us and telling us, you know, get up and, you know, take each day as it is and, and just be responsible. You eager for your first training camp, which is right around the corner, and a possibility, have you looked at the possibility of maybe playing this year, have you thought yeah, about I mean, that? Yeah, it's definitely the goal, I mean, that's definitely why I'm here, you know, I'd be lying if I said I don't want to start this year, so, I mean, that's the goal, um, can't came to go to camp, uh, that's going to be a blast, I mean, I heard it's tough, but at the end of the day, I know it's all mental, you know, so we're all here as a team. We're all working hard, working hard towards August 30th. What has your relationship been like with guys like James Conner and Isaac Bennett and Rasheed, the, the running backs who are the upperclassmen? Oh, I mean, those guys have been just outstanding to me. You know, they haven't, like, I guess you can say, be mean to me or something like that. You know, <laughs> they've all they all, uh, welcomed me with opening arms and helped me a little few, a few of the times. And sometimes if I walk inside the film room, they're in there, you know, they help, they help explain that. So, I mean, we're always joking around in the dorm room, whether it's playing the game or you know, have this thing where we just stop you and you have to do 20 push-ups. So you try to avoid the upper class and sometimes it's like, you know, I'll run into James, he'll be like, hey, give me 20. It's like, ah, you know, so it's great though. I mean, I love those guys. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm surrounded by, you know, just outstanding players because in the end of the day, it helps help, help you become better. James obviously, you know, had a yeah. great freshman year last yeah. year. Has he given you any advice in terms of what you need to do to sort of um, I mean, copy just that? Say, you know, just keep working. That's the main thing. Keep working. You know, I'm, uh, when we had our workout to Heinz Field, you know, it was my first day. It was my first time there. For him, it was the second time. So for me, it was tough. I mean, he was right in my ear the whole time, you know, saying, like, you know, hey, you can do this. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, we need everybody this year. Mm -hmm. So you know, right there. So all that stuff, it just, it just shows that, you know, he cares about me and whatnot. You know, he's, he's kind of like the big brother, little brother aspect. Any similarities and differences between living in Illinois and living in Pittsburgh? It's been a while since we've had a recruit yeah. from Illinois. So <laughs> any? Um, I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, that's the, uh, probably one of the main reasons why I came to Pittsburgh because, you know, look, looking at my window in Chicago, I saw the skyline, and here I can see the skyline. So all of that pays a role here. So, like, I mean, in a, in a sense, it kind of reminds me of home a little bit. Similar skyline, but smaller. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you. All right.